Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a kind of review and first impressions of a few of the Kat Von D beauty bits that I've got my hands on recently. I am going to be testing out the eyeliner, eyeshadows, lipsticks and all that jazz in this video so if you're interested in that then just keep watching. I feel like this video has brought out my inner emo and I've worn my um, Jack Skellington jumper which if you're interested I will leave a link to it down below. It was $7.99 on eBay which is literally amazing. The Nightmare Before Christmas is actually one of my favourite films and now that it's becoming close to October I just feel like I had to wear this jumper. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> I didn't get mirror. Ow. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys just heard that but I just went up to get a mirror and I tripped over my light box and smashed my toe into it. That was really, really painful. So I have my bag of Kat Von D stuff in here, um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get hold of any of the face products. Like I really wanted to get the foundation and the concealer, the uh, locket ones, but I went on the Debenhams website and all of the colors that are in like the palest shades had sold out. And I think because Kat Von D is so kind of well known for making really pale shades, I guess all of the pale girls went over to the Debenhams website and just snapped them up before I could. But if I do manage to get them in the future, then I can make a video for you guys like reviewing them and stuff and yeah. So I've already done my foundation, concealer, powder and eyebrows because she doesn't make eyebrow products. And the way that I've kind of got this stuff is some of it I got through Love Me Beauty, which is a kind of subscription service and they had a kind of monthly September edit. This was the September ed edit. You get a kind of goodie bag, came with a minute red liquid lipstick which is in the shade Outlaw. It came with a miniature ink liner in Trooper and it came with a miniature um, lipstick which is in the shade Magic and oh my god you guys look how teeny tiny this is. It's the cutest little thing ever. And as well as that you also got um, a load of skincare stuff which is really cool um, but I think I have a code for Love Me Beauty which I think is Sofa Does Nails 20 which gets you 20% off I think and I think this is £10 a month so that's the first way that I got some of my Kat Von D stuff. I also did some filming with Love Me Beauty and Kat Von D which was amazing and they did give me a few little bits and then other bits I also got on the Debenhams website and other bits my dad brought me back from Barcelona and he got them in Sephora so it's been like a kind of whole variety of ways that I've got these products but if you are in the UK you can get them at Debenhams like online and I'm not sure if you can get them in stores but you can definitely get them on the Debenhams website. So the first thing I have is probably what I am most excited for. I absolutely love the packaging of all of Kat Von D's products. So this is what the shade and light eye palette looks like. This one is in the shade Rust. As you can see it's a very little kind of compact eyeshadow palette. I think this is either 21 or 29 pounds but obviously all of the products will be linked down below so this is what it looks like it has a really cute little mirror in here and then it's got four eyeshadow colors and these are the most beautiful matte shades they're all matte and this is such a good palette if you have blue eyes like me because these colors will really kind of like contrast with your eyes and like bring out the blue in them so so first I'm going to take this color here which is kind of like a peachy colour. So I'm starting off with the kind of pink colour and what I do want to say is you only need to dip your brush in a tiny bit because I don't know if you can see kind of like here but it does kind of have a lot of fallout when you dip your brush in because they are so pigmented. So I'm just using this one as my kind of transition colour. So in between all of these colours I'm just going to use a clean fluffy blending brush to blend this out. And I'm also just taking this colour and I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. So I'm then taking this rusty colour here, which is a really pretty light kind of orange colour, and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid and in my crease, and oh my god guys, I literally just dipped this in, look how pigmented that is. Oh, so pretty. And then just packing more of that colour onto my eyelid, because I blended out it quite a lot. Okay, so I'm then dipping in to this kind of dark chocolate brown colour, and this is also a kind of warm toned brown, and this one is really pigmented as well, and I'm just gonna put this on my outer corners and into my crease. Then I'm just running a bit of that same colour on my lower lash line. Then I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm taking the pale kind of white colour here 
and oh my god it's so pigmented and I'm just gonna put this on my inner corners oh my god you guys see how pigmented this is and I'm also just gonna run this along my brow bone Okay, so overall, I love that eyeshadow palette. I love the colours so much. I think the colours are amazing. They're super grungy, perfect for autumn. And I love how they're all matte and they're super, super pigmented as well. So in terms of eyeliner, I have the Tattoo Eyeliner, which is super famous and well-loved. And I actually have this already. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. And I also have the Ink Liner, which is the miniature one that I got in the Love Me Beauty set. And this, again, looks like an amazing eyeliner. And I also have a mini one of the uh, Tattoo Liner, which I got in the... London cooling set. You can get this on Debenhams. I think it's £19.50. You get a miniature lipstick in Lolita, you get a miniature liquid lipstick, and you get a miniature eyeliner. So this is the miniature eyeliner. It's a pretty good size. And then you get a miniature liquid lipstick in the shade Double Dare, which is a really pretty like pink colour. And then you get one of the miniature uh, lipsticks in the shade Lolita, which is a really popular shade. The difference between the ink liner and the tattoo liner is that the ink liner is literally just a kind of pen nib. So you can see it's just a sort of like a felt tip. Whereas with the tattoo liner, it's actually kind of like brush strokes. Um, well, not brush strokes, it's got like bristles. So instead of being an actual pen nib, it's in the same shape, but they're actually like little individual kind of brush hairs. So I would say that if you're a beginner to go for the ink liner, and if you're a little bit more experienced, then go for the tattoo eyeliner because I do my eyeliner pretty much every day and I actually quite struggle sometimes to use this one just because I'm used to kind of doing my eyeliner coming from the outer corner inwards, whereas with this one it's easier if you kind of like flick it out because it's like little like brush hairs. But as you can see the pigmentation on both of them is identical, so I think what I'm going to do is do this eye with the ink liner and this eye with the tattoo liner. Oh, I got the angle for that one completely wrong, whoops. I guess overall I would say that I probably prefer the formula of the tattoo liner just because it's a little bit more kind of liquidy so like if you want to go back over a section then it's more easy um, but this one I don't know it dries a little bit more glossy as well the ink liner uh, but overall I think they are both great eyeliners I love them both okay so moving on to mascara I don't have a Kat Von D mascara I'm not actually sure if she makes one um, but I do have this new mascara which is one of my new favorites I got this recently and this is the um, it's by a brand called pure which is literally just P-U-R and this is the fully charged mascara and I hadn't really heard much about this but I think this is £16 you can get it on M&S and other various websites in the UK um, and it's cheaper than my all-time favorite which is the Tartist lash paint mascara but I feel like this mascara might kind of be up there with it because it's a really really good mascara like look how lengthening that is it's actually so good this is the difference in my eyelashes I just feel like it makes them like curl upwards so much Okay, so quickly before I move on to the lips, I'm just going to do my cheeks. I don't actually have the Kat Von D uh, contour kit just because it looks absolutely gorgeous, but I think because I am so pale, I just have looked at the colours and I think they are going to be a little bit too dark, so I didn't pick that one up. So for my contour, I'm going to be using my Freedom Pro Contour Kit, and this is in the shade Ultra Fair, I think. This has just been my favourite recently because it's a really pale colour and I just really like the colour of it on my skin. Then for blush, I'm using my Tiny Burr Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. Oh my god, literally the packaging difference between this and Kat Von D. They are just complete opposites, but I said I would use the blush in a video, so I'm going to be using... Oh, I just stubbed my nail into it. I'm going to be using the blush, which is called Pretty Peony. The blush has a little bit of glow to it, it's really pretty. And then for my highlight, I'm using this, which is new. This is the MUA Luxe Glow Gleam Highlighting Powder in the shade Gold. And this is a really interesting kind of contraption. The lid comes off, and then it looks like this. And when I first kind of opened this, I was like, what the hell? But you have to twist it. Oh, I just blew it and it's went everywhere. You have to twist it, and then the product kind of like comes out into this little like dish thing. Um, and you just need to take like the tiniest bit of this because it is so metallic. This is such a gorgeous highlight. I think it was like five pounds or something, which is such a good buy. Look 
at it guys, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit down my nose. Okay, so finally moving on to the lips. The lips is probably what I have the most amount of products for and I'm gonna swatch all of them for you guys, although my hands are kind of dirty, but that's fine. Okay, so first I'm gonna swatch the miniature lipsticks. The first one that I have is in the shade Magic and this is a, um, I think it's a matte finish, but it does have tiny little like glitters in it, which I found quite strange, not gonna lie, but it's such a pretty kind of like pink color. Um, and it's a really, really wearable pink because I don't normally wear pink lipsticks, but this is the type of pink I would wear. It's kind of like a pinky mauve, so that's that one. I then have Lolita, which is obviously a super popular shade. It's kind of like a, I don't really know how to describe it. Sort of like a brownie kind of berry color. Oh, on camera it's coming across really, really red. But trust me, it's not that red when you put it on your lips. I then have a full-size Stutter Kiss lipstick because after wearing these at the Love Me Beauty uh, shoot, I realized that the formula of these is my favorite formula out of any lipstick that I own. And this is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love it. I love the packaging. It's got her little like Kat Von D logo on the top. And then the big lipsticks are actually like embossed. But this is the shade Cathedral, and this one is really similar to MAC Well. It's just a tiny bit more kind of like mauve toned. Uh, so that one there is a Cathedral. It's beautiful. So in terms of liquid lipsticks, I have the shade Double Dare, which is a kind of like dusty rose sort of colour with a hint of brown. And this came in the London Cooling set along with Lolita. So I'm just putting that underneath. So this is that one there. And then I also went ahead and bought a full size of one of the liquid lipsticks. And this is in the shade Lolita. I really want to get Bow and Arrow as well. So that's the one that I just put here. So as you can see, this is the Lolita lipstick and this is the Lolita liquid lipstick. I would say the liquid lipstick is a tiny bit more brown toned. So I think on my lips, I'm actually gonna put Lolita on because it's gorgeous. And the only thing that I don't like about this is I find that the wand is a little bit too long. You kind of have to like, yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit hard to control because it's so like long and thin. These don't have a smell, but the actual lipsticks do have a smell and they smell amazing. I just love the colour, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a brownie sort of mauve colour and I love it, I love it so much. So that is the finished makeup look and overall I am so impressed with all of the stuff that I've tried so far. I think that if I tried the foundation and concealer and I like it, then I would go as far to say that Kat Von D is one of my favourite makeup brands. In terms of the lipsticks, 100% is probably my favourite makeup brand because the formula of these Stutter Kiss lipsticks, the matte ones, is just amazing. They smell amazing, like these smell better than my MAC lipsticks. I prefer the smell of these. I love the packaging. I just think they're gorgeous and I think they're 16 pounds, same as the liquid lipsticks. So it's only like 50p more than a MAC lipstick and I honestly prefer these. The formula is amazing. They last for so long and yeah. I'm just in love. Like, Kat Von D, you have done a good job, my friend. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did find it helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what your favorite Kat Von D product is. If you've tried any, or if you haven't, then what do you think I should try, or what you wanna try? Just leave me a comment down below and we can have a little chat. Guys, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Huh? No, but seriously, you guys, I just want to say the biggest thank you ever for bringing this little channel to 100,000 subscribers. I honestly cannot believe it. Like, I know I've said this before and I will say it again that when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't even think I would get 1,000 subscribers and just a year and a half later, I'm on 100,000, which is just insane. And there is gonna be a giveaway, but just stay, stay kind of patient. Is that the right word to say? Yeah. Just to keep hanging on guys because some of the prizes haven't arrived yet. But as soon as I have everything all gathered together, then there will be the 100,000 subscriber giveaway video. But just hold tight because it is coming, I swear. I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just can't even put it into words. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.